Hey everybody, welcome back to another reaction. It is Lance with Dustin and Bree. We are back from AX, and we're trying to catch up on everything we missed, including the last episode of Gundam, The Witch Mercury. And I say the last because I know it's the last because the announcement was like Gundam Seed movie, I believe I heard it was. Uh, and mm. I saw I saw a couple of screenshots just to be upfront that this pretty much was the last episode of Gundam Witch for Mercury, unless we get a 10 years in the future thing, which they totally could do. It's Gundam. But aside the point, let's dive in and see what, how they end this pretty good series up. I mean, she basically tanked that shot. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Uh, defend everyone now, Saleta. Uh-oh. Is that the permit score, or is it the data storm? Maybe. Uh oh. Could, yeah, it could be the data storm because that the permit score finally got her. That's like the one weakness in giant laser blast. We gotta recharge it. Mm -hmm. yep. all the problem is though, you realize another blast is coming. Yeah, it, it it's always like um, using hyper beam with Dragonite. The next move you have to recharge. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got a point. Yeah. I'm getting in front of that thing. Like, shoot, shoot at the solar panels. Right. Ariel's pretty fucked, so. Mm. Oh, she didn't bring Ariel. Shit. Oh, yeah. oh, they used the propulsion controls, yeah. Damn. That's creepy as fuck. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, first of all, you well, ain't gonna go uh, on a kill everyone spree again, are you? Oh. I was like, come on, you've had to have learned at this point, Saleta. Uh-oh. Oh, Paul, because of she, she's using... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -oh. There you go. I was I was gonna say not the gaslighting again. Oh, I don't want to lose you either. Uh oh. Girl, what you doing? Kill us out. Oh, okay. Wait. Oh. Wait. Huh? I'm on. I did not expect this. Oh. The other one? <laughs> the first, the the first one's one. like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm like her. Got it. Happy birthday. Oh, shit. It was my birthday. Fuck. Mm -hmm. You can, you can have, you can have your date in the data storm. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to impress on a first date. Take your date to the data storm on the first date. Mm -hmm. Damn. God damn. It's like I'm no. <laughs> I'm fucked up right now. What do you need? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was gonna say as cool as that was, it was also slightly creepy. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dang, that'd be wild. That would have been wild. 
After all this, that's just the answer? No. Oh, I'm, this theme is just so good. Yeah. Oh, we're getting a transformation. Love it. Uh oh. Oh. Yo, sell oh. more gunpla. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're gonna go freaking kill the space laser. Oh. Oh, that's oh. cool. That's so cool. That's looking. pretty. That is very pretty. Oh, dang. Oh, she incorporated Quiet Zero inside the suit. You're not gonna be able to. But this is the moon. <laughs> oh. Now you have no. You, you don't have a, ch a right to do that. Mm-hmm. And, and then Shidi gets what he wants. Dang. That's what the whole thing with Shidi was about. Yep. Dang. Oh, thank fuck you, bitch. I'm so glad. <laughs> yeah, eat it. Look, next best thing to them dying, okay? I like how the real one's like, ah, eh, she, sold, she sold it all. Yeah. Was, oh, dang, I hope they die broke. You know what? Now I'm glad they didn't die. They just got financially destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you don't God. think she's about to destroy that shit? I would say it's cute you think that thing stands a chance right now. Well, it does, but she's got protagonist powers on her side. Oh. Fucking love this theme. Everyone's just like, my Gundam, why? Yeah. Dang, get him. Now even the oh. dead body of Ariel. <laughs> yeah. It really is the power of friendship. It really mm -hmm. is. Jesus. EMP bomb? Da -da -da. That's what I'm thinking. Or she just extended Quiet Zorm Zero all the way out. Yeah, overridden. She, she overrode it. That's smart. She can't just tank it, but yeah. Stop it. That's another thing. Back to the prologue. Mm -hmm. And it's been six months the show first aired. Like, damn. Dang. I, I think it fall last year, I want to say. Yeah. Or winter. It was winter of last year. Oh, man. You could just. Some therapy would have gone a long way to help you. Yeah. Some therapy would have made this show a lot different. I mean, therapy would have. Can't help a lot of people in a lot of shows. <laughs> Yeah. I think we're gonna get a Gundam where no one dies. Well, no one major, at least. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. Ah. Well, that is a dangerous ass weapon still too, so Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't the mom in there though? This man has two emotions. Coma <laughs> <Yeah>. or hmm. <laughs> Dang. Look, he finally woke up and just said, let's get this done. So he did. He woke up and was like, what the fuck is happening? So yeah, they all dis disappeared. Oh, okay, the body's still, I guess. 
I'm floating. I could just float in space. Don't forget the keychain. <laughs> you know, I love the. Oh, it's in the keychain. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Could be. I like that though. I like this dichotomy of. Mjorne and, and Saleta met with Saleta rescuing her in space, even though she was trying to get to Earth. This time it's Saleta grabbing Mjorne, or Mjorne grabbing Saleta. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a good, it's a good just, just, position. just a busy. Ah, she ain't dead. There's no way they're going to kill her this, like now. Watch if they were to kill her, it would have been like. In a much more grandiose way, I feel like they did with the, like they did with the airy, right? Like it was, yeah. Three years later, epilogue time. Oh wow. Dang. Oh, I love the haircut, Nika. I love the hair. Oh, she got out of jail. This is a jail getting out of jail party. Dang. It's just she still had one of the best things was she just punched the shit out of the rich kid. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I like the fact that he grew his hair out. And he's going to go find the thing. One hundred percent, he runs that entire prison. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> easily. Are you kidding me? Yes. I Man, swear to God, it. if he, I swear to God, if Gul has the mullet back, I'm going to lose my mind. Your sister-in-law's advice—they got married. Nice. Oh, was that Airy inside the thing? That makes sense. Oh, that's cool. Oh, they got together. That's cool. Okay, Gyul. Thank God the mullet's still going. <laughs> well, the one thing they could, the one thing they could always do to make it look like it. <clears throat> oh, okay, he joined them. They roll one, but to always show like a time change, you just change hairs. Yeah. That and height. Yeah, height. Yeah, that's gotten him in a nutshell. Wow. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Gundam took my child's life. Yep, that's Gundam. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, look, it's the ladies. <laughs> oh, she's in the wheelchair. Okay, long hair. I've always liked the long hair down. Yeah. Toletta. Yeah. They look like they have a. Oh, she's getting control of her body. That makes sense. <clears throat> Probably from space in the permit score. I, well, I don't get how you even exist. Damn. <laughs> Dang. So Rude. Good. I just, oh, I just show how she's hugging on her arm. That's cute. Oh, this 100% was the last episode. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, unless Gundam does sometimes what Gundam likes to do and have like a uh, continuation like 10 years in the future, which could totally happen. I think they left enough room for a continuation if they need to be. Yeah. I, will I will it do it? I don't think so. Probably not. No. That's pretty good, I think. No, it was very um, happy. Right? Yeah. And for Gundam, it generally ends... Well, Gundam has run the gamut. I've, we've already brought this up before, but um, that's a lot of text. Yeah, it is. Anything Jesus. else? Guess who this last art is? Put that down. Um, I don't know. If I were to say anything about this, it was a good, good Gundam. Personally, it wouldn't crack my top five, but just because there's been so many powerful mm-hmm. Gundam shows. 
But I don't think this is a bad Gundam show. I think this is a good Gundam show, honestly. I just, it, it won't reach the likes of Iron Blood Orphans for me or 8th MS Team. Or... This is where the story concludes. And, oh, nope. oh, that, nice. that's, that's a good picture to end off of. Um, but like I was saying, it, it, it doesn't crack the top 10. I would say it's a, it's a good Gundam. Definitely not a bad Gundam. It definitely better than half, at least half the Gundams out there. Most Gundams out there, honestly. Mm-hmm. Um, it just never reached the, I think, the problem. It never reached this is the top five for me, at least in my in my personal list of Gundams, because I felt a little rush there, so it's second core-wise. And I think yeah. this show could have really, really, really been so masterpieceful, or whatever you want to call it, like amazing even, if even better, if they would have, Allowed it to breathe more, giving it 50 episodes like a normal show usually gets with Gundam. Um, yeah. Or something that's longer than that. It just felt a little bit too rushed for me. Um, yeah. But overall, I think it was just a good Gundam. Like, and, I, and, if, and this probably would be one of the answers if someone were to ever ask me, I wanted to get a Gundam, where should I start? I'd probably say, start with this. I think this is a yeah. good yeah. entry level point for Gundam. Start with Witcher Mercury and then come back to me and then I'll start giving you some of the heavier handed ones. Um, and all that, but I definitely think it was good. I liked Mjornay. Saleta was alright. She wasn't my favorite protagonist in Gundams. Uh, she was alright. She had character growth, which I like to see. I think yep. the story really was... The character growth in the story really was Gules. Gul had so much more character yeah. growth in the show from first episode on um, than anything. Um, Mjornay has pretty good character growth, too, technically. Um, but not compared to Gul, Gul had the best. Um, a lot of good character, side character cast was amazing. Uh, just yeah, my only my only criticism of the show is going to be that the rush pacing toward the end just made it feel rushed. Like I said, yeah. and uh, I'm not even like I I think the ending's fine. I think the ending is just fine. It was happy. Everyone got what, kind of what they wanted, um, and everyone got their consequences. Should be trial, probably prison. Nika looked yeah. like she was in prison there. She was just getting out, whatever that may be. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, uh, what do y'all think overall? I liked it. I mean, it kept my attention. Usually, most Gundams, I get like bored by the politics or whatever, but this one like kept me, kept me in it the whole time, and it was like it was funny when it needed to be. It was sad when it needed to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, um, I I enjoyed it. It's like you said, it's definitely not as hard hitting as some of the other Gundams. People who watch other Gundam shows know that as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it was a pretty good show and like you said sled is not my favorite i honestly think for me more of the side cast and how they interacted with everything going on kind of made them more my favorite Gule, i definitely loved everything mm-hmm. going on with alon and all that even though i will never listen to happy birthday the same again <laughs> um like i it's a it's a good gundam and like you said i think it's a good starter gundam too because you're not yeah. too heavy into politics too heavy into like death or harder topics like it's a pretty good middle of the road and then when someone gets done with it be like okay how did that one work out for you and then we can see where to lead you next yeah, yeah this person's interesting like it's the end of witch for mercury but i don't i doubt it's the end of ad stella the universe they made for mm-hmm. witch for mercury exactly what i was bringing up in my a couple times if i didn't cut it out then y'all saw was like yeah. i could totally see them going back to this universe uh this oh, world yeah. they made right um and just a couple I, we always do this but you know, potential people sad that it's ending. The best gun I've seen since Seed. Fair enough. I like Seed a lot. Um, yeah. Personally, like I said, though, I I I, I find MF Eighth MS team better. I find some of the older ones better. I have Seed's better in my mind. Once again, I've always said this: if you liked it, you liked it. Like you think it's better, the best gun ever. More power to you. Uh, happy that you found the show that you liked and that you were happy and you were happy you invested your time in. That's the main thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yep, they got married. Yep, they did get married. We got that. It would have been nice to have a proper wedding, like some of these comments yeah. are saying. But the sister-in-law joke and the rings and everything and her kind of hugging on Saleta there, that was really cute. Um, it's like like snapshots of the wedding, like not even like yeah. part of a ceremony, just like photos, like even of them like having fun, dancing, you know, at, you know, the front podium, whatever with each <laughs> other, like just snapshots. Saleta so acquired RGB. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny it was pretty good pride pride month was over when it released god damn <laughs> damn that's so funny she, uh, she saved the day with a big cave field <laughs> that's exactly uh, what happened <laughs> hey man the power of yuri oh uh, <laughs> man um uh, 
yeah. Like I said, I, I'm I'm fine. I like the happy ending. Uh, my only criticism of the show, once again, is the fact that I felt like it was rushed toward the end. The soundtrack, once yeah. again, is fucking good. That theme is one of my favorite yep. themes. I think I've heard in an anime in a while. Um, that singing kicks in, and you're just like you feel it. <laughs> oh, it's such so good. I was I was I was I was playing it on my fucking ride back from AX, and I was just like ah, I was speeding. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> it feels like they originally planned for way more episodes. I don't know, maybe. I mean, I've, for the most part, I, I, I think Gundam's got to almost do anything. So if they wanted more episodes, I feel like they could get more episodes, but I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but yeah, a, a nice, sweet ending to a damn good Gundam and a damn good anime. Yeah. And yeah. definitely one that I will be recommending for the future for people to watch. And yeah. We had a really stacked season, and in that stacked season, this is up there with some of the best. But yeah, let us know your final thoughts on the Gundam, the Witch from Mercury. Where does it rank in your Gundams? Is it your favorite Gundam? Is it your least favorite Gundam? Is it middle of the pack? Um, did you are you gonna buy a Gunpla from this show? I think I will, especially that last one. But yeah, yeah, <laughs> but yeah just let us know. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good jazz, and uh, we will talk to you soon for another show. Have a good one. <laughs>